Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marana YouTube channel. So let's discuss about SOLAS requirements and safeties for a life raft. So about life raft, there are SOLAS requirements and safeties. Let's discuss about this topic in a detailed way. So general life raft requirements are, they are decided in a way that it should afloat 30 days in any sea condition. So this life raft, they are decided in such a way that they should withstand and they should afloat 30 days in any sea condition. Construction of life raft and its fitting must be sent towing at a speed of 3 knots in calm water with full loading by people and equipment and with one of its sea anchor. So this construction should be say, such that its fittings must be sent towing at a speed of 3 knots in a calm water with full loading by people and equipment with one of its sea anchor. If life raft is thrown at a height of 18 meter, the cover should not break after inflating if a person jumps from a height of 4.5 meter on it, the cannot be should not get damaged. So the other precaution they are made is, life raft should be thrown at a height of 18 meter over and it should not break after inflating. And if a person jumps from a height of 4.5 meter on it, the cannot be should not get damaged. Then instead of the life raft to be a non-discomforting color, okay, because we are in emergency, we are inside a life raft. So the color should not be discomforting, it should make us relax and it should admit sufficient air for the occupants at all times even when entrance is closed. So sufficient air supply should be there. It should be provided with at least one viewing port. So one view should be there at least showing the port side. It should have a provision of collecting rainwater. So uh, emergency it should have a provision to collect some rainwater. There should be provision of mounting search and rescue transporter at height of at least 1 meter above sea level. So there should be a provision of mounting search and rescue transporter at height of at least 1 meter above sea level. Okay. And it should have sufficient headroom inside the canopy for sitting equipment. So we have to ensure that there should be sufficient headroom for sitting inside the canopy for sitting occupants. And minimum carrying capacity must be at least 6 percent. So the minimum carrying capacity must be at least 6 percent and the maximum weight of its container as well as equipment should not exceed 185 kg. So we have to ensure that maximum weight of its container as well as equipment should not exceed 185 kg. And life raft shall be fitted with an efficient painter of length equal to minimum 10 meters plus distance from the stored position to water line in the latest sea going condition or 15 meter whichever is greater. So we have to ensure that the life raft shall be lifted, shall be fitted with an efficient painter which is equal to minimum 10 meter plus the distance from the stored position or to a water line to the latest sea going condition or 50 meter whichever is greater. Then manually controlled lamp shall be fitted on top of canopy and light shall be white and it must be operated for at least 12 hours with a luminous intensity of not less than 4.3 candela. A manually controlled lamp shall be fitted on the top of canopy and light shall be white and it must operate for at least 12 hours with a luminous intensity of not less than 4.3 candela. The safeties are pressure relief ball, stabilizing pocket, two layered insulator canopy. These are the safeties that is a pressure relief ball, stabilizing pocket, two layered insulator canopy. So the markings on life raft and its container. So let's discuss about this topic. So what are the markings on life raft and its container? So markings on life raft are the maker's name and trademark, serial number, date of manufacture, name of approving authority, name and place of large service, number of persons admitted. So markings are maker's name and trademark, serial number, date of manufacture, name of approving authority, name and place of large service, number of persons totally permitted. Then markings on the life raft container or the box what it will return, maker's name and trademark, serial number, name of authority, number of persons carried, SOLAS emergency pack enclosed, date of last service, length of painter, maximum height of storage, launching instruction. So what are the markings that on left of container it is marked is maker's name and trademark, serial number, name of authority, number of persons carried, SOLAS emergency pack enclosed, date of last service, length of painter, maximum height of storage and launching instruction and all. Thank you.